Hey guys, Sen Knight here again. We're gonna talk about actually uh, a technique that is called stutter stepping. Uh, I don't know yet, but I probably will put this in intermediary. It might even go into the beginner section. Uh, not necessarily because it's, but, well, it is easy to do, but it might be hard to implement into your playstyle unless you practice it a lot. Uh, but the reason why I think it might even be in the basic section of skills is that this is really important, especially in speedrunning. And the reason why I say that is that stutter stepping help you manage your inventory and make sure that you're not going in your inventory having 20 items and you, oh, what, what do I want to drop on the floor? Okay, I don't want to have this one and then I want to have this one. And then you lose a lot of turn doing that. Uh, and you don't want to do that. So stutter stepping is coming in handy and it's going to help you a lot into managing your inventory. So what is stutter stepping? Uh, this is actually a technique in which you can know, like let's say you enter this room and there's a, a fruit on the floor. And it could be anything, now we know it's a pita right now, but it could be also leave a fruit or a lev fruit. And we don't care about any of those. We want a pita fruit, maybe a tuna fruit, uh, but yeah, the other ones we don't care as much. So one way I could know what it is, is to step on it. And then this is a pita fruit, nice, but the problem is I picked it up. And now if it's bad, if it's live fruit, I have to go to my inventory, have, and then put it on the ground again. It's costly. I could be here, do that, check my hat and, and see it's a pita. And then uh, go back to the menu and then put it back down again. Maybe a little bit quicker if you get good at it, but again, uh, still kind of long. And the actual way to do this efficiently is to use stutter stepping. Uh, so you might have uh, seen that when you dash, you don't pick up items. So if you use demon speed, then you don't pick up the items on the ground. And you can actually use that to your advantage. So without using demon speed, but while you're pressing right here, I'm going to press right. And my character is going to move from this square to the square where the fruit is. And while this is happening, you have a huge window. This is not like frame perfect or anything. Uh, while this is happening, while you're leaving your square and before you hit the fruit, you press an old circle. So as if you were going to use demon speed. But you want to make sure that you're not pressing right anymore or else you're going to start dashing. So it's really easy. It's right then holding circle. You have to keep it old, the circle uh, part of it. And you're going to actually step on the fruit and it's going to tell you this is a pitch of fruit. You're on a pitch of fruit. And it tells you that if it is an interesting item, uh, you might want to pick it up. And if it's not an interesting item, then you can just move on and it's not in your inventory. It doesn't clutter your inventory. Uh, if you decide it's interesting, well, there's a lot of way to do this. The fastest way is to just go press left, right, or whatever direction, then, then direction again. But the danger about that is that it's a two turn action. If you're in a room and it's you want to get to the elevator as quickly as possible, uh, you might want to just stutter step into an item go at feet and then pick up and it's going to put it in your inventory and instead of taking two turns it takes zero turns so picking up something doesn't take a turn here so that might be a much better solution uh, again you could become really good at using the at feet command i generally am slower at picking up stuff from the floor than i am at using it twice like going left and then right again just to pick it up but uh just you can get what is better for you. I think these are pretty similar in terms of time invested. But yeah, practice stutter stepping. Uh, like I said, it's not frame perfect at all. It's pretty far from it. But you just press the direction to start the animation of going to the next uh, square. And while it's happening, press an old circle. And it's pretty easy to do. You're going to get really good at it pretty quickly. Just make sure that you're not pressing the direction and circle at the same time. You want to press circle after you release the direction and all input or else uh, this is going to happen and you don't want to get that. So, you especially if there's enemies around. So there we go, stutter stepping. It's really, really good. Like this is the first, the first skill you should learn. All right, see you guys. Thank you for watching that.